found on Wikipedia this place between Croatia and Serbia, which was unclaimed for more than 27 years. It's heart shaped, it's three times bigger than Monaco. The main reserve currency of Liberland will be Bitcoin. Personal sovereignty, financial freedom. Cryptocurrency really fits in philosophically with Liberland. We are actually directly implementing the blockchain technology on how to run the state. I'm here for Liberland, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Givoli. Welcome to Liberland. 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 Le Liberland. Country based on liberty, where paying taxes is voluntary and where there's minimal government. So that's our back office here in Prague. That's where the administration is being done. That's a letter to the citizens, but we're also regularly sending greetings to all other countries for national days and for birthdays of, the, of their leaders. whole stack of passports being deployed to the world. We're just sending them to Liberland citizens. It does have all the regular security features for that you would expect for travel document. I was a libertarian from, I would say, young age. And we really believe that if the state steps in and starts to tell people you cannot do that, you can do that, uh, then it's, it's going sideways. And at some point I realized that not even political action with the political party wouldn't be able to change anything there. And it's much easier actually to start a new country rather than to fix, fix existing one. So at some point we found together on Wikipedia this place between Croatia and Serbia, which was unclaimed for more than 27 years was actually given up by Serbia and never accepted by Croatia. And I said, this is the spot, you know, this is where we're gonna start a new country. Only 11 days after Liberland was established, we received a, a letter from Serbia that they don't mind creation of Liberland on this territory. And many other famous crypto people applied for citizenship and are, are with us because we decided that the main reserve currency of Liberland will be Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But we are not pushing it. We're not like El Salvador. We don't say this is a state currency, you have to accept it. We say directly in our constitution, you could use any currency you want to do business in Liberland. We are not gonna tell you which currency you should or shouldn't use. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello babies. I was born in California, Los Angeles. Lived there till I was about 10 years old. And now I'm here in Serbia. A few kilometers, really, from, uh, from the Liberland. Hey. Come yes. on. <laughs> this is our captain, and we're off to Liberland. I discovered Liberland through a friend in 2015. I love the philosophy behind it. The idea of being your own bank, having financial sovereignty, to have liberties. Cryptocurrency really fits in philosophically with Liberland. I think it's what we need so much. This is Liberland. There's possibly a limit to how close we can get because he could get in trouble. Croatian police could show up on a boat and ask us to leave. Liberland is not officially recognized as a state and at the moment it's illegal for us to be here. Right now we're going to the Ark, which is a Liberland settlement. It's the one on land. And this is the Ark. I'm an early settler just someone who physically lives in a Liberland settlement project. A few kilometers, really, from the physical Liberland. I didn't even realize I was the first one until after I got here. I thought there might be another person or two, but it just didn't work out, and I ended up being the first and only settler at the moment. Right now at the Ark, my everyday life is uh, pretty basic. It's wintertime. All of the development projects are just put to sleep for right now. 
So really it's just about being present. You need to appear that this is not an abandoned property. I'm living in this cabin right here. <laughs> Let me turn on my lights. As you can see, it's very rustic. It's like camping, but it's warm enough and it's comfortable enough. At the moment, my livelihood comes from crypto. I have crypto investments and I do some trading. It's not a surprise to see that cryptocurrency is so popular among people who would be interested in Liberland. It fits in with the ideology perfectly. Our freedoms are disappearing, our privacy is disappearing, our financial sovereignty is disappearing. And I think when the cryptocurrency communities come on board and they lend their support, it's going to grow fast from here. I'm born in the Netherlands, I'm from 86. Since four years now, I live near Liberland. Sandra, so good. Yes. <laughs> yes, one good push. Tick pizza, I take one. One of these ones. Yes, yes, yes. I paid with the crypto. Okay, but we must drink little. Yeah, yeah they make their own. Yes. Take this. Really? Really. I discovered Liberland when I was in Amsterdam and I was like, let's, let's see what it is. And then I got here and they were just moving from the first base. I met everybody and I told them I'm here for Liberland. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I got there thinking that I would be living on Liberland. I packed for a, building a base camp and I found out that we couldn't reach the land. And the next day they were planning an action to go to the land. And I said, okay, I, I want to be part of it and uh, got in a boat, was put on Liberland and got arrested. Basically within 24 hours of my arrival, I got into prison in Croatia. Everybody knew at that moment that Yoshi Divo went to jail for Liberland, so that was a good start, I would say. Since two years I make shows here. We are living in a clown world. So I wear this wig and I have a red nose. A good day, beautiful people. I am of course Liberlander Yoshi Devo, streaming to you 20 miles out of Liberland. First of all, let's uh, spin the prize. Let's see what people are winning. I am talk about crypto or Liberland. The thing that I like the most about Liberland is that I want to explain the people of the world that income tax is slavery. Basically, that's my big issue. And we never signed any document that we agree to be taxed in the way that we are. Because of Bitcoin and crypto, I see that there is a different reality growing, becoming real. And people are going to be able to govern themselves instead of being born in this system with the government. Bitcoin has become a natural partner for Liberland. It was one of the ways how we could keep sovereign. We are actually directly implementing the blockchain technology on how to run the state. We're putting all the bureaucracy of the state into one platform where the citizens will be the validators. They will be checking what's going on in the network. We are literally trying to make an ideal state and use the latest technologies for it. The progress with Liberland is happening as fast as it can. The word is getting out there. The idea is becoming very popular. Everything is going to change in the next 10 years and Liberland is making a great start in becoming part of the future.